You'll hear lots in these films about Tavistock's heritage as a centre for worldwide trade, a hub for local mining and home to industrial inventions. But this is a film about the one thing that made all of this possible. When you want to get the tin, lead and copper from the mines to the trade centre, or you want to get the heavy wrought iron creations out and overseas, before anyone invented an engine or a train, the only way to do this was to build a canal. This canal starts near here with water from the River Tavy, and the barges would go over an aqueduct and one and a half miles through a hillside before their cargoes were taken down a steep incline railway all the way to the River Tamar. This canal contributed wealth and good fortune to the town of Tavistock for some 50 years, and even now it still works hard creating electricity to supply the national grid. In 1803, John Taylor, a civil and mining engineer, designed the canal which was opened in 1817. Its main purpose was to carry copper ores from mines on West Dartmoor and around Tavistock to Morwellham Quay in the Tamar Valley, where 200 tonne ships could sail to the open sea and transport the ore to South Wales for smelting. The canal became Tavistock's main trade artery, carrying cargoes which included coal, limestone, timber, iron, dung, metal ores, granite, slate and agricultural produce. This was the first canal to use wrought iron barges. The barges were reported to be 30 foot long and 5 foot wide and on the day the canal was officially opened, they carried 300 people along the canal to celebrate this grand occasion. Along the canal were many mechanical devices that Taylor created to keep the barges moving and the workers safe. All of these machines were ingeniously powered by the water of the canal itself. John Taylor has buildings and a street named after him in recognition of his hard and inspired work, which seems very fitting considering that Tavistock has become designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, in part thanks to his engineering talents. The Wharf buildings here in Tavistock are now home to offices, Quaker meeting rooms, a base for scouts and guiding groups and the art centre of Tavistock, known as The Wharf. Concerts, theatre, cinema, art gallery, cafe and bar are all housed in what used to be the coal warehouse for cargo, waiting to be taken down the canal. The water that supplies the canal is taken from the River Tavy next to Abbey Bridge and flows quickly all the way to Morwellham Quay. There is a footpath that runs alongside the canal and is a beautiful scenic walk through the park and past the birthplace of Sir Francis Drake at Crowndale. <laughs>